I've designed my own low energy Bluetooth application for the ESP32 series of controllers. This application can be used with all Bluetooth modules and controller boards that support Bluetooth low energy BLE technology. Why did I make this low energy Bluetooth application and why should you also make a BLE application? Which Bluetooth versions can you use with a BLE application and what are the benefits of making a BLE application? You will get answers to all these questions. So without any further delay, let's get started. Starting with the most popular Bluetooth modules, HC05 and HC06, I have used these Bluetooth modules in many projects to control loads and monitor sensors. I've also published an article on Android app development where many people have read it and made their own applications. HC05 and HC06 Bluetooth modules are based on the Bluetooth 2.0 plus EDR enhanced data rate. Let me also tell you EDR was first introduced in Bluetooth 2.0 offering faster data transfer rates compared to the original Bluetooth 1 which was the initial version of Bluetooth with limited data transfer rates and relatively short ranges. Anyway, HC05 and HC06 Bluetooth modules do not support Bluetooth Low Energy BLE technology because these are based on the Bluetooth Class X standards, which is different from the Bluetooth Low Energy BLE technology. So all those applications that I made for HC05 and HC06 Bluetooth modules do not work with Low Energy Bluetooth modules like Bluetooth 4.0, Bluetooth 5.0 and newer versions. Let me also tell you the Bluetooth Low Energy BLE technology was introduced in Bluetooth 4.0. The aim was to significantly reduce the power consumption and to enable new types of applications like trackers, smartwatches, fitness and IoT devices and then Bluetooth 5 brought several improvements including higher data transfer rates, longer range and enhanced advertising capabilities for BLE. So, the applications that you used with Bluetooth versions 1 and 2 won't work at all with Bluetooth 4 and Bluetooth 5. So, you will need to design completely separate applications for low energy Bluetooth modules. But the question is, how do we make a BLE application? So far, everyone I have seen on YouTube is using ready-made low energy Bluetooth applications. In fact, in the beginning, I also downloaded the NRF Connect application from the Play Store to test the range of the Xiao ESP32 C3 onboard Bluetooth. Although I successfully controlled the loads, but what I really didn't like was every time I had to type the command to turn the load on or off. And to be very honest, as an engineer, I didn't feel good at all about using a ready-made application. And furthermore, we just can't use the same application everywhere. I want to create my own application for every device and eight features according to my preference. So I decided to design my own low energy Bluetooth BLE application. It took me almost six to seven months to create a completely bug free BLE application. We can use this with all the ESP32 variants because all the ESP32 boards support both Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy BLE protocols. So to explain this point, I'm going to test my design BLE application with these two boards. This is the VMOS LawLand 32 V1.0.0 version of the ESP32 and let me tell you it doesn't come with Bluetooth 4 or Bluetooth 5 but it still can be used with the BLE applications because it supports both Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy protocols. This one is the Xiao ESP32 C3 and it comes with an onboard low energy Bluetooth 5.0. First, let's start with this basic ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. As usual, I'm going to use my designed ESP32 development board for the connections. You can follow this circuit diagram if you want to wire up all your components on a breadboard. For demonstration purposes, I have connected four bulbs, but you can connect any AC or DC loads. If you are thinking about using 110 or 220 volt AC supply, you need to consider safety. When the 110 or 220 volt AC supply is connected, never touch the relay contacts as it can be extremely dangerous. It is important to note that when working with mains voltage, proper safety precautions should always be taken and it is advisable to consult relevant electrical codes and standards. You can download this program from my website electronicclinic.com. Don't worry about the libraries because all these libraries are automatically installed when you install the ESP32 board. For installing the ESP32 board, you can watch my getting started video on ESP32. I have added a link in the description. This is my BLE application which I am going to use to control these four bulbs. Before, when I used older applications, I had to manually select and connect the device after opening the application. 
But now, when I open this PLE application, it automatically connects to the device. Let's control these lights. You can see the communication is quite fast and responsive. I've also added a feedback feature in it and it can also remember the status of the loads. Let's say I want to keep these two lights on. Now, if for some reason the power disconnects or there is a power outage, the controller will remember the previous state of the loads. So as soon as the power connection is restored, these lights will automatically turn on. Now, let me demonstrate its feedback feature for you. And now, let's imagine these loads are installed in another room. After a couple of hours, I want to switch one of these loads on or off. But I have forgotten which one I turned on or turned off. To eliminate this kind of confusion, I have integrated a feedback feature in this application. As soon as I open the application on my cell phone, ESP32 through Bluetooth provides me with feedback on which load is currently on and which one is off. This ensures seamless control and eliminates any confusion. Now let's go ahead and start with the Xiao ESP32 C3. This is my hardware setup for the Xiao ESP32 C3. The connections are exactly the same except the pin numbers. And don't forget to follow the safety protocols. For the connections, you can follow this circuit diagram. The code is also exactly the same except the pin numbers. And the coolest thing is for the Xiao ESP32 C3, you don't need to do anything. When you install the ESP32 board, all its variants are installed including the Xiao ESP32 C3. You can check this in the boards list. You can see the Xiao ESP32 C3 is available in the boards list. If you are not able to find the Xiao ESP32 C3 in the boards list, then you will have to update your board list through the Boards Manager URL link and for this, you can follow my Getting Started tutorial on the ESP32. I will add a link in the description. Anyway, then all you need is to select the Xiao ESP32 C3 and click on the Upload button and that's it. I have already uploaded this program, so let's go ahead and start practical demonstration. This is the same BLE application, but this time I have added the Bluetooth address of the Xiao ESP32 C3 in the application code. All other features and functionality are exactly the same. You can download the source code of this BLE application from my Patreon shop at a very reasonable price. Then you can modify this BLE application according to your preference. You just need to have a little knowledge of Android Studio. Once you learn to make BLE applications, you can launch your own products. You can control and monitor things like bikes, cars, loads, sensors, and many other things. You can sell these products on platforms like Amazon just like me. You can create amazing projects for your international clients. So what are you waiting for? Download the BLE application source code and get started.